Here we go on a quick refresher of how to divide monomials. These problems come from page 504 in your algebra book, chapter 9, section 2. Number 21 says b to the 6th times c to the 5th, all divided by b to the 14th times c squared. Notice that you have variables of b and c in both the numerator and denominator. You are going to subtract exponents of like variables since we're dividing. So you're going to have, for the b variable, the 6th power minus the 14th power, and for the c variable, the 5th power minus the 2nd power. Doing so, you get b to the negative 8th times c to the 3rd power. This is good, but we're not finished because we cannot leave a negative exponent in an answer. That would be like having bad grammar in English. So we're going to use the inverse. The inverse of b to the negative 8th is 1 over b to the 8th. So here we go. 1 over, or 1 divided by, b to the 8th times c to the 3rd power. We're going to multiply those across. 1 times c to the 3rd power is c to the 3rd power, and you still have your b to the 8th in the denominator. So we have c to the 3rd power divided by b to the 8th. That is your final answer. Moving along to problem number 25 in the text, we have the following. We have a negative r, that whole thing to the fifth power, times s to the eighth, divided by r to the fifth s squared. First of all, we're going to take care of negative r raised to the fifth power. That is like five multiplications of negative r. Anytime you multiply a negative sign an odd number of times, it's still negative. So here we have negative r to the fifth, s to the eighth, divided by r to the fifth, s to the second. All right, now here's the stage where we have to subtract r exponents because we have consistent variables of r and s in the numerator and the denominator. As we move along, you can see that we have the following. We have negative r to the zero power, s to the sixth. That's because if you have exponents of five minus five, that becomes zero, and 8 minus 2 becomes 6. So there you go. We can simplify this one step further because anything to the 0 power is 1. So r to the 0 becomes 1, but there's the negative in front of it. So we have negative 1 s to the 6th, which is the same thing as just negative s to the 6th. Finally, we're going to take a look at one more here. This is number 31 in the text. And we're going to go right for it here. We have r to the negative fifth, s to the negative second, divided by the quantity of r squared, s to the fifth, the whole thing raised to the negative one. First thing you want to do here is take care of the parentheses where we're raising it to the negative one power. That's multiplying a power to a power. You're going to multiply the exponents. Or I'm sorry, I should have said raising a power to a power. Let's take care of that denominator first. When you multiply 2 times negative 1 and 5 times negative 1, you get the following. You get r to the negative second, s to the negative fifth in the denominator. So here is where you should be at in the problem right now. Now we're going to subtract because we're dividing by variables that are alike in the numerator and denominator. So for the r variable, we're going to do negative 5 take away negative 2. And for the s variable, we're going to do negative 2 take away negative 5. Doing the math there, we arrive at the following. We get r to the negative third, s to the third. Again, we're moving in the right direction. Only problem is we do not want a negative exponent in the answer. So we have to do something about r to the negative third. Luckily for us, we understand that r to the negative third means that we're going to use the inverse. We're going to end up with 1 over r to the third. There you have it. 1 over r to the third times what's left, s to the third power. Now we're going to multiply. 1 times s to the third power is s to the third power divided by r to the third power. Now you're done. You have no more uh, variables with like exponents to reduce. You're down to an r and an s. They're different variables, one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator. 
You do not have negative exponents. Life is good.